grow your own turmeric for healthy living. Hey guys, it's Daryl Luzanne Simple Living, where we help you achieve a bountiful harvest, delicious food, and a healthy living. All right, turmeric, which I've always called turmeric, or turmeric, uh, is a rhizome type of plant. What that means is it has a fleshy root, and that's where um, all your what you what you basically harvest, sort of like a ginger, and it is part of the ginger family. And yes, it is a yellow colored. Um, that makes up about 25% of the seasoning that goes into a curry seasoning. Uh, it has that fleshy root, the rhizome, uh, which they basically break down to create that, that drier seasoning. Most people, including myself, I've never seen a, a turmeric plant grow. I don't know what it looks like. So what we're going to do today is go ahead and unbox it, and we're going to go and plant it. And hey, and like ginger, it's really easy to grow it's because it's part of that ginger family. Just like ginger, it has that rhizome, that fleshy uh, fleshy root, basically. That's what you actually plant. You can divide it as long as you got two or three nodes on it. You can divide it and you can plant multiple plants as well, just like the ginger. You've seen me do that in some videos. I'll put a link down below. The crazy thing, and I didn't realize it, but it just has so many medicinal benefits uh, that, that it's, it'd be dumb not to grow it. Healthy living is part of our mantra, is part of our uh, creed here at the Illusion Simple Living household. And uh, if this is something we can use from a medicinal standpoint or a healthy standpoint for healthy living, then it makes sense to go ahead and grow it out here in my garden. All right, so I got the package in. Already right, came in over the Christmas, New Year's holidays. So it's a few days uh, in transit and then just trying to get from holidays over to pick it up. So let's go ahead and unbox it. And so this did come from Rooster Farms. And uh, it came from Captain Hook, Hawaii. Oh yeah. All right, so that's the unboxing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and plant these bad boys in two different places. I got a spot picked out back there where I got some Mel's mix where everything's amended, the compost, blend of compost, spang of peat moss, vermiculite and all that, and some azomite rock dust. Now, the plant does not like being below 50 degrees, freeze, will end up killing it. So I'll have to cover it uh, as, you know, going through the winter if it gets lower than 50 degrees, especially if it gets around freezing. I'm also gonna put it in a container where I can bring that in a sheltered area uh, and keep it a little bit warmer when it gets down to those uh, those low degrees. And plant these three, and we'll see um, how they grow up in a pot or in a container. All right, so what we want to do is these nodes that are sticking up, those want to be pointed up. All right, I'm gonna water them in, they'll be good to go. And hey, look, if you find this information valuable, go ahead and go to that subscribe button, like the video, and feel free to share it to all your friends so they don't miss out on this as well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, plant them over here um, in this bed I've already amended. Um, this one ought to do pretty good. I just don't have a whole lot of faith in these smaller ones here, but we'll see. Get ready to plant this one. I'm just not a home sick sure. Let me get it down a little bit further there. Here we go. And these small ones here, I just don't think they're going to grow at all. If we do, it's a bonus. I want to get this big one to grow. A turmeric has a long growing season or requires a long growing season. You're talking about eight to ten months of good sun. Um, and, and warm temperatures above 65 degrees or so. And that's where it really likes to be, above 65. It's a tropical plant, so you would expect that. When you think of turmeric, you think of tea. You think of some 95% uh, curcuminoids. And of course, it's a main ingredient. It causes kind of the yellow golden uh, color 
in curry. And again, all this is made from the rhizome or the, the tubular root. And then the rhizome is used either sliced, cubed, and there's different ways you can do it. Used in many different recipes. Um, they typically lean on the healthy side of, of recipes, which is a good thing. I can use that. And for example, you can make a antioxidant shot out of ginger, uh, turmeric, uh, orange juice, fresh orange juice, and honey. You mix all of that up and you, you take a shot of that, you're going to get all full of antioxidants. And that does sound pretty tasty, and you know it's good for the health. Healthy living is one of our mantras, it's one of our uh, creed for the uh, losing civil living in our family. Um, so it's something that makes sense to grow some turmeric. Use it to get ourselves more healthy and healthy living. And the Rizones, as, as mentioned over there in the, uh, the supplement, they contain a substance called curcumin. As I mentioned before, and I couldn't pronounce it right, but there's curcumin, which is a substance that is in the Rizone, the uh, turmeric Rizone. And that's the thing, it's just slap, jab, full of nutrients, um, antioxidants, anti-inflammatories, a lot of different things that it does for you. And look, scientific studies have shown it to really do a number of things, uh, including, uh, including anti-inflammatory. I think that's the key one. As we get in our upper age, you know, most of our joints and we get a little arthritis, we get a little bit of swelling. Um, turmeric is something that can help with that swelling. Uh, it does a couple other things. It can actually uh, help, help uh, regulate your blood pressure. That's something I need as well. You know, it says that it will improve memory. We'll see about that. That's something I can obviously use. Uh, and just gives you overall antioxidants, which are, you know, cancer fighting and other uh, disease fighting types of substances that'll be in your body. And hey, look, in turmeric as a plant and as a rhizome, the, the fleshy root, man, it just provides incredible medicinal healthy benefits uh, for you. Now, I'm growing it in my backyard for that reason, and you ought to consider doing the same. Ginger is actually, it's in the same family again. Ginger is very easy to grow. I've showed you that in a couple of videos, and I'll put a link down below. But this is going to be no different. It's the same type of rhizome. You plant it, you divide it up, and you plant it. And it grows up and it multiplies throughout the eight to ten months that it grows throughout the year if you like this video hey don't forget go check out and i'll put a link below and it'll be at the end as well um, make sure you go and check out the spring garden planting checklist it goes through everything you got to look at you need to start planning that now not march not april uh, you need to start planning that now if you're going to sow seeds and sides we're looking at here in uh, zone 9a we're looking at mid to late january so anyhow, go check that video out. It's fantastic. It'll get you set up to have a, either a new spring garden or you'll do better than you did the last year or two. Uh, you guarantee it's going to set you up for su success. You do have a green thumb. You just didn't realize it. And if you like this content, do me a favor. Go and subscribe. Like the video. Uh, feel free to share it to all your friends. And remember, this is Louisiana Simple Living, uh, where we help you achieve a bountiful harvest, delicious food, and healthy living. And so just a reminder, make memories now. Make memories now rather than later. Make memories with your family and friends. And as always, I will see you on the next video.